Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike Walker and this episode is about how to create a video wall in Premiere. Video walls are great for cramming a lot of information into a brief time frame, so ideal for intros to YouTube channels to tell your audience exactly what you're all about. So let's go. It's fairly simple and the key to it is Premiere's motion video effect and then further enhanced with a replicate filter. On my uh, intro video for this channel I use nine tracks uh, which are in fact nine, my first nine episodes. And as you can see here there's some cuts and some uh, edits that I've made on each one. Uh, so on track one, um, which is this one, um, we've got episode 1 on track 2, episode 2 and 3 and so on up to uh, episode 9. Um, I've just turned, uh, if you notice I've got the eyeball turned on on one uh, and off on the other so we can see we're actually looking at track 1, we're looking at this track here at the moment. As you turn the eyeballs on uh, it'll open up the next track like a torch shining down from the top, that's how I always look at it. And on track 2 um, is this one. Now these first two tracks were shot in 1080, so um, all the rest are in 4K. And the only difference that makes is to the scaling. The scaling will be 66% on the 1080 tracks and 33% on the 4K tracks. Apart from that, everything is, is the same. The position values are the same. And the position values for this video wall, um, I'm going to put in the description so you can just make a note of them and you don't have to figure out whereabouts everything goes it's all going to be written down for you so let's make a start um, if we start with video one um, i'm just going to highlight video one i've turned all the other eyeballs off so we're just eyeballing channel one or episode one or track one whichever way you want to look at it so there's track one i'm happy with the edits uh, and i'm going to place that one we're going to have a nine screen video wall so that's three across the top and three down. Um, so the first one, the position is going to be the top left hand corner. Uh, and the parameters for that, uh, first of all, we'll do the scaling. So the scaling I'm going to put to uh, 66%. And there we can see it's at 66%. And then on the positioning is going to be 640 by 360. So 640 in the tab key to 360. Uh, so that's the position of, of 1 and let's look at uh, 2. I'm going to turn the eyeball on for track 2 or episode 2 and you'll notice on track 2 it's in two pieces so I've done a little bit of an edit on there. We've got me turning around and then going into the computer screen. So um, we have got a cut there so that I'll show you how to do that. Um, we'll select the first part of episode 2 or track 2 and we need to go to 66% so I'm going to press 66 and then the position values for track 2 is 1920 by 360 it's already on 1920 um, it's just the horizontal value that we need to change so we're putting that at 360 and there it is in the right position now we have got two parts to this uh, and on some of the edits you can see on some of the episodes we've got uh, up to one, two, three, four, five on that one. We're just two on this one but the principle's the same. If you select the track where you've made the alterations in the motion effects and you right click and go to copy and then you highlight the, uh, the, the other clip you want to copy it to, right click again and then go paste attributes make sure the motion is checked which it automatically will be press OK and then now we've got that bit in the same position the same scaling and the same position so I'm going to apply this to all these tracks I'll just show you another one and then I'll whisk past this so you don't have to sit through the whole thing so on track 3 I'm going to eyeball episode 3 or track 3 and we're going to scale this this is slightly different because we're all these clips are now 4K from episode 3 onwards, which means the scaling on this will be 33 and not 66 because it's, uh, it's twice the size. So there we are on 33 and track 3 should be 3200 by 360. 
So all we need to do is alter this one. 3200 by 360. And there we are, that's in position. And again, we will copy. So we select the track, we right click, select copy. And then you can go to all three of these or others. I usually select them like this and right click again, paste attributes, motion is checked. So that's fine. Press OK. And now we have all the different edit points have been synchronized to the first one as regards the motion effect. So the scaling and the position has been copied over to the remaining parts of that clip. And uh, onto track four, open the eyes of track four. And it's, um, I'm just going to carry on now and I'm going to whiz past this and do it really quickly for you. Uh, you've got the idea now. Okay, so that's all done and there we have our nine images placed in order and all the attributes have been copied to the rest of the clips if they've been edited. So that's it. Um, what I'd do now if you want to double the amount of screens you've got there, we've got nine at the moment, if we do new, new item and we make an adjustment layer and we paste that across the top here, across the whole top and we add an effect to that adjustment layer. So if we go to replicate, replicate and paste that onto the top of the adjustment layer and there we have it. Um, you can either do it that way you can either nest a sequence and do it that way. The good way to do it is either with an adjustment layer or nesting the, the sequence because you can alter the inside of the sequence afterwards if you want. Um, whereas if you render it all out and then replicate, um, you're stuck with what's in there. If you're happy to do that, then it's not a problem. So there we have it at the video wall. Uh, so just to recap, bring all your clips in, put them on the timeline, as a matter of really good housekeeping, I'd just go track one to nine and then put in the parameters. So it's uh, if it's a 1080 clip, it's got to be scaled to 66 if you're doing a nine window. Um, if it's 4K, then you'd scale it to 33%. Uh, and apart from that, you'd use all the parameters that I'm going to put in the description below so you can copy and, uh, and, and do that uh, as, as opposed to working it all out. Um, but it's fairly simple in the positional sizes there, the positional parameters you've got. The first one is is the horizontal and the second one is the vertical. So uh, you'll get, you know, the tracks one, two and three, you've got the 360 uh, horizontal, um, which is this lower part of the frame. That's a 360. And then the 1080 is the middle section, and uh, 1800 is the top section. So that's 1800, that's 1080, that's 360. And then these positions here vary from the go 640, 19, 23, 200. So it's fairly simple, really. Um, and you can be guaranteed that they're going to be all smack in position. Well, that's it. I hope it's been useful. I'm going to post all the positional parameters for a nine screen wall in the description below, and that'll save you lots and lots of time working it all out. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more like this. Thanks for watching.